this woman is getting this woman right here is getting eaten alive on TikTok for good reason. Um, but I want to talk about another angle of this that I think is more beneficial to people to not be in the same situation. Hi, my name is Shayna. I talk a lot about being child-free, decentering men, all of these things. Um, and today we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about this, what it feels like to have your boyfriend of eight years buy a house and then charge you rent to live in it while making you both design director and general contractor of the renovation. I really want y'all to sit with this before. You know what? I'm going to show you the whole video and then we're going to talk. There was no sound a while ago. TikTok removed a bunch of uh, audios from clips that were using like trending sounds um, from popular artists. So that's why I'm going to make myself a little smaller so that way you guys can continue to, to see this one in the video that you just saw. Did you see the amount of work that she was doing around the house? Not just the amount of work that she was doing, but did you notice that there was clearly somebody recording her doing all of this work? doing this at the window panes, painting the corners, doing the landscaping. Who do you think that was that was recording her doing that work? Did you see the amount of uh, intentionality that she put into the, the color palettes, this, the digital vision board for how the living room was going to work, how the colors are going to be, which sofa she thinks would be best. All of this investment for a place that is not yours for a boyfriend of eight years who is charging you rent. I think one of the saddest things, and when I say sad, I don't mean like in a, in a derogatory kind of way, like, oh shoot, like that's sad. No, no, I mean like genuinely sad. Um, things about people that center men and women who are pygmies is that it's, it's a constant cry for love. It is a constant cry for attention. It is it is calling out for a thing that you see that you know exists that is consistently five centimeters out of range intentionally. They keep it five me five centimeters out of range so that way you can continue to center them, block out everything else, center them and focus your energy and your resources towards getting that thing. The idea of the thing, the idea of male attention, the idea of masculine validation, whatever, the more that you center it and the more that you push towards it, the more the idea of it becomes grander than the actual thing. I talk about this in another video um, where a commenter was talking about how men constantly dangle a carrot in front of women. And I'm like, yeah, they do. And at some point, if the more that you invest into that carrot, it's not that the carrot becomes greater than what it actually is. It's that our energy and our intention and our imagination make that carrot more than just a carrot. And at some point, some people get it and then they realize it's just a carrot. This woman is putting so much work so many skills, so much energy, so many financial resources. This she her name is not on the her name is not on the on the anything regarding the house. She's a renter and she is putting sweat equity into this man's property that she will never see the benefits of. There is I would I would bet money that this relationship will not last. He will not marry this woman. He will not marry this woman. Arguably, he's encouraging her to make content like this because he doesn't respect her. Because this, this is completely different than, hey, my boyfriend got a house and look at us making things together for it. Or um, my boyfriend got a house and um, I won't be paying anything for it. So let's go, let's do a get ready with me to go shopping for like some furniture so that way I can try and contribute or whatever. Not to, would that be me? But like, it, it's different because this is denigrating. This is look at how low I am to my boyfriend 
for humor, for him to laugh, for you to seem like a cool girl. Like, I don't get it. And when this relationship ends, which it will, she will be left with less than nothing because she invested her because she invested herself, her mind, her finances, her resources. And you know she's still sleeping with this man, her body. In, into, she invested with zero return. Ma'am. I also want to focus on what the first four words are. What it feels like. What it feels like. Now, I don't think in the actual video there were words to that. I don't, and I have no idea what the sound was, what the sound clip was. But what it feels like. It looks like it feels exhausting. It looks like it feels sad. It looks like it feels like something I would never want to do. I don't think most women would want to do. It looks like it feels disrespectful. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks. It looks like it's disrespectful. It looks like something that enrages people. And now imagine with me, now imagine with me, if this woman took all of the energy that she was doing to invest and center, not her husband, just a boyfriend of eight years, but boyfriend of eight years, all of the energy that she's using to center on this man, imagine what she could accomplish if she had focused that energy on herself. This woman clearly has more than just these two very profitable skills, design director and general contractor. Imagine what she could accomplish if she focused those skills on herself, if she built those skills up with going to school, like creating a business, investing, trying to build, get her own house, or even like maybe she couldn't get a house, maybe she could get an apartment screw the screw the deposit screw the deposit turns that apartment into her dream space makes content about that then all of a sudden the revenue starts coming in she's traveling all over the place she's being a design director for women all over who and she gets to show her specific um not just skill set but her like artistic tastes because you know that the design that she's doing she's trying to blend what he wants and what her what she wants even though she's the one that's doing the work and i don't want to say that she wasted eight years i don't i don't like thinking about things in that kind of way so much as it's eight years worth of lessons and if she's able to, if women that are in this kind of position, it's not necessarily about her, but women that are in this kind of position, oh, I wasted two years, I wasted eight years, I wasted 20 years. It's not wasted if you learned something. And I just really am hoping that, and not just something, but some things that are equivalent and it's always going to be more than equivalent. If you really grasp the lesson, you, it's never too late to change your life. It's never too late to center yourself and decenter a man, men in general. Now, this woman is fighting for her life in the comment section, trying to my man, my man, my man, her way through this train wreck. So I don't know if she's going to spend an extra two years, an extra eight years, an extra whatever, trying to justify um, the... The, the sense of lack, uh, the sense of craving, um, the powerlessness that she feels within her relationship. Um, I don't know, but I'm using this as a space to create a conversation for people that are in a similar situation or know somebody in a similar situation so that way they could see, oh my God, objectively, this is not gonna work for me. A lesson, a lesson. So with that, I bid you adieu. Please like, share, subscribe, all those things. Type your thoughts away in the comment sections and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.